Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Dear people of God, I am happy to come back to you this evening. It's such a great joy to come into the presence of the Lord and together to glorify His name. You know, when we brothers and sisters in Christ come together and glorify Him, you know, the Lord is pleased so much. He will be moved with great joy and He rejoices according to Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. The Lord rejoices, you know, and He sings with joy when we, His people, come in love to Him. When we love Him, He will rejoice. Hallelujah. So let us take this time to, you know, please Him. Let us take this time to satisfy Him. Not with the things that we give, but with our love to Him. Let us say to the Lord, Oh God, I love you. Jesus, I love you. The Spirit of the Lord, I love you. You know, when we offer our love, that's what makes Him happy. So let us spend time today in the presence of God. Let us pray and seek His face and sing a praise song to the Lord and then meditate from His heart. You know, we'll receive the word from His heart. And you know, whenever the message comes from the heart of God, that touches our heart and that message transforms us and it brings light and the knowledge unto the simple amen let us pray holy father we thank you for this wonderful evening master we are here lord with a heart of gratitude with a heart of love with a heart of thanksgiving and praise honor and glory unto your name lord master as we sing this song to you be with us lord and we pray lord you rejoice in the praises and the worship that we offer you in love by faith in the name of jesus christ our father holy god also lord we pray you speak to us lord lord you impart the truth in us that can set us free from the bondages from the unknown hindrances of our lives of father so that we may walk in faith and glorify your name in jesus name we pray amen dear people of god let us sing a song unto him and then we'll come back for the word of god Me 
Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Dear people of God, let us learn from the Word of God. I believe the Spirit of the Lord has a very specific message for us to understand. And, uh, you know, this is the most important or the very vital part of our faith life that we must know and we must understand and we must apply to see the supernatural God to work in our lives. And it's his desire that he wants to work in our lives in every aspect of our life. Whether it is of our spiritual life or about our health, our personal life or our family or our profession or our ministry, whatsoever it may be. God wants to involve or intervene in and through our lives because anything God wants to do in this world he can do only through you and me who believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ amen and we are the vehicles of God to fulfill his promises his will his plans and his strategies through the life of his people amen so that's why we are called believers. Amen. We are called the people who believe his word. But when we say we are believers, this is where we need to be sensitive. When we say and when we claim that we are believers, we must know the maximum knowledge or maximum truth about the faith because we believe in him hallelujah so let us learn something about faith today amen i believe this is going to open our eyes to see some important truths in our lives amen praise god so now first of all we'll read from the book of mark the gospel of mark chapter 11 verse 22 it says here and Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. This is what is the statement of Jesus. King James Version says, Have faith in God. Amen. Actually, what does actually it means from the original text is, Have God kind of faith. Amen. It says, Have God kind of faith means the faith that you and I need to operate is not on our natural sensual faith. God's expectation and God's desire is that we need to depend on God kind of faith not on the sensual faith that we have which is instinct, you know, which has an instinct which has an instinct of the world sensual faith is born out of the world out of the flesh so it has the instinct of this world that's that won't help in supernatural god's intervention in his spiritual plans or his will his promises or his strategies or his you know uh, whatever he wants to do or accomplish through you and me in this world. Hallelujah. So we need to have God kind of faith. So you may ask me, where is God kind of faith? Hallelujah. Very simple. In the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17, there Paul says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You know, God kind of faith is in his word. God kind of faith or God's faith. You know, the word of God is the container of God's faith. Hallelujah. Every word which has come out of the mouth of God is filled with his faith. That's why here Jesus says, have God kind of faith. Amen. We need to have God kind of faith. 
and in Galatians chapter 2 there again Paul says the life that I now live I live by the faith of the Son of God by the faith of the Son of God means it is the faith of Jesus hallelujah amen so the day you and I are born again the day we made Jesus as our Lord and Savior we have been deposited with a measure of faith and that faith is not your faith nor my faith it is not the sensual faith but that is the faith of the son of God or God kind of faith hallelujah my brothers and sisters shout loudly a praise to the Lord because you and I have been deposited with the God kind of faith in us we have a measure of faith that is the faith of the son of the living God how great how precious we are in his sight so this God kind of faith which is deposited in us has to be the driving force of our faith we must operate in the faith of the Son of God as his followers or believers we cannot afford to operate in the sensual faith and do the things which the Son of God has done or the Son of God to operate through us hallelujah praise the Lord so let us understand this one fact when we claim we are believers we need to make sure that we will not believe or act in faith or operate in faith which is born out of our sensual or worldly instinct we must operate in the faith of the son of god or the god kind of faith remember it is already deposited the day you and i have made jesus as our lord and savior of our life now how to use that faith how this operate can uh, this faith can operate let us understand first of all what is required or what is important for us to function or operate in the God kind of faith only then we can think about applying God's kind of faith in our lives hallelujah let us go through a few important things that we must understand that only those things can help the God kind of faith that is deposited as can be operated or can function hallelujah praise the Lord let us read gospel of mark chapter 11 verse 25 and 26 and when you stand praying forgive if you have ought against any that your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses but if you do not forgive neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses amen the first and the foremost thing that we need to understand god kind of faith cannot function or we cannot operate in that faith if we have an unforgiving heart the first thing we, we require is we need to forgive hallelujah before we can pray the first act that a believer need to do is to forgive amen praise the lord unforgiving heart cannot work the works of god kind of faith hallelujah praise the lord and secondly let us read galatians chapter 5 verse 6 galatians chapter 5 verse 6 here the scripture reads like this for in jesus christ neither circumcision availeth anything 
nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And here Paul is writing to the church of Galatians saying, this God kind of faith can work only through the love. If I don't have love, this faith cannot operate. Two things we saw now. For us to operate in God kind of faith, first thing we need to forgive. Unforgiving heart cannot work faith. Second thing, we need to operate this faith in the love of God or by the love of God. Because this faith works only by love. Scripture very clearly mentions it. But faith which worketh by love. This God kind of faith works by love. Hallelujah. Amen. When I have hatred, when I have jealousy, when I cannot express God kind of love, remember, I cannot operate in faith. That's what the scripture says. Hallelujah. So, what does it mean? Very simple. Love must be the dominating force or motivating force behind all our faith operations or that we need to function or operate in faith for everything. Hallelujah. When I say I am acting in faith, remember my brothers and sisters, if I have no God kind of love in me, my faith cannot help me. If something is happening, it may be happening because of our sensual faith, not the God kind of faith. And it is an insult to the God kind of faith if we are trying to operate that without the love of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So, one of our greatest hindrance to the God kind of faith is our self, our pride, that what I say, I am, I. Praise the Lord. That is the most powerful hindrance that disturbs for us to operate in God kind of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And only way that pride can be brought down or brought in subjection to Christ is operating in the love of Jesus Christ and in humility. Hallelujah. Praise God. So that's why we find something uh, what we can read from the first Corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. Praise the Lord. It is a picture of Christians who are, who are operating in sensual knowledge and it will be a great failure. Amen. Faith trying to be operated in the sensual knowledge. He says, Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, and have no not charity or love, I, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Verse 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Hallelujah. Verse 3. And though I bestow all my goods, goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. You know what Paul is mentioning here? As a Christian claiming to be a believer, I may be doing so many things. You know what he's saying? I am speaking with the language of the men, language of the angels. 
and uh, I may be having a great gift of prophecy and I may understand all the mysteries and all the knowledge hallelujah and I may have all kind of faith and then finally I'll be you know bestowing all my goods to the poor and the needy I may be doing all these things if I am not having love if I cannot operate in the God kind of love all these things I do are simply you know tinkling symbols or you know bell sound only it is making sound there is no power behind it so what the scripture is talk, uh, trying to teach us you know our faith when we say we are the people of God when we say we have the faith of the son of God or if I claim that I have God kind of faith remember that can be only backed up or dominated by the love of God only then that faith will receive the power or the power of faith will be generated by the love of God hallelujah praise God so what does it mean then love is the power charger of faith hallelujah without love faith cannot be charged let me put it like this forgiveness is the door love is the power generator by love we generate the God kind of faith and by forgiveness we open or release that faith which moves the mountains and places God hallelujah Amen. Let us go further. Amen. This is what we need to understand. This is very important key that we must understand about God kind of faith. Amen. Faith is of the heart. It is related to the heart, the inner man. It has nothing to do with the mind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Faith is not from the head. Faith is of the heart. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us see one or two scriptures, what the scriptures talk about. In Romans chapter 10, verses 8 to 10, let me read it for you first. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in the heart that is the word of faith which we preach. That if you shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shall believe in, in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth the confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. You know, in two places it mentions here. Let me read it from the verse 9. He says, And shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Believe with heart. Faith is something related to heart. It is of the heart. It is not of the head. And again in verse 10 he says, With the heart man believeth unto righteousness. With the heart man believes. That means faith is something that is related to the heart, has no involvement of the head in that part. Hallelujah. Praise God. We'll read one more scripture. In 2 Corinthians chapter, verse, uh, chapter 4 verse 16, Paul writes here, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Hallelujah. Inward man is renewed day by day. That means the spirit man, Hallelujah. And the inward man, the heart of the man, that is what is the throne 
of God kind of faith. Hallelujah. And there is no con connection of the mind here. Praise the Lord. Or body. For faith to operate, there is no involve, no requirement of the involvement of our mind or the heart, uh, or the body. It's only the heart. Inward man. The regenerated spirit of man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. So, believing can be done only by heart and that can bring the outcome which can influence, which can impart and which can do the mighty works on our soulish area and the physical body. That's where we can see the manifestation of the power of God through the God kind of faith that we have in our spirit being operated on our sensual realm and as well as on our physical body. That's why many are healed in the spirit, many are healed in the emotional or psychological area and many are healed in the physical body. Amen. In fact, faith heals from inside to outside. Hallelujah. Then, praise the Lord. You know, when we have the God kind of faith, one more hindrance what we can understand for this God kind of faith to be disturbed in operating is, you know, Satan can use our mind and he can put some kinds of doubts Hallelujah in a person's mind Praise the Lord But The word will put faith in the Heart Devil puts doubt in the mind The word of God puts faith in the heart of man so when we give heed to the word of God, the doubt of the devil cannot succeed. But the faith overcomes that word. Or the faith overcomes the you know, doubt that is sown by the enemy. Hallelujah. So understand this truth. Satan puts doubt in the mind. But the word of God puts God kind of faith in the heart. Hallelujah. So we can use that faith whenever we want. No matter how many doubts the devil throws at your mind, yet if you, if you and I can operate God kind of faith through the heart, those doubts will be just, you know, dis be destroyed in a fraction of a second. And faith overcomes all those things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now there is one simplest law that we need to understand. Two things we saw now here. One is, Satan puts doubt in the mind. And the word puts God kind of faith in the heart. Until the word of God and the faith of God or God kind of faith dominates the heart the mind and the doubt will be in upper hand but when our heart and the God kind of faith is dominated by the word of God then doubt and the thoughts of the Satan can never succeed rather they will just bow down in submission to the name and the word of God name of Jesus Christ that will fail the thoughts of devil will fail the doubt of the devil will fail but the faith which comes from the word of God will prevail and will be victorious in the given circumstance hallelujah praise the Lord amen so what does it needs our mind should not be controlled by the sensual doubts thrown by the devil but our minds must be controlled by the word of God which comes from the mouth of God. Hallelujah.
praise god god bless you hallelujah so now what we must understand our spirit of man must be dominated by the word of god for you and me to operate in god kind of faith we must be dominated by the word of god we must be dominated by the love of god we must be dominated by the spirit of forgiveness then god kind of faith will succeed in your life and my life hallelujah praise the lord amen so once this happens then we will be able to pronounce or release the words of faith from our mouth and from our heart praise the lord and that word is going to bring forth the expected result in the spirit realm based upon the holy scriptures of the living god hallelujah praise the lord heart faith is based on the word and it is not at all based on the senses hallelujah or our feelings feelings are not faith senses are not faith that becomes essential faith but the real god kind of faith that is born in the heart is controlled and dominated by the word of god hallelujah amen and the faith that is controlled or based upon feelings will ruin our spiritual life this is what we need to understand so that's why we need to pray and come out of that kind of faith which is sensual you can read in the book of jude he talks a lot about the sensual person he says we are wavering we are like the waves of the sea we are like the clouds without water those who are sensual amen so let us come out of that hallelujah and finally let me put few things here for your understanding of how important it is to build our god kind of faith and what are the important things that we require to operate in god's kind of faith amen so this faith will be operated through prayer amen without faith it cannot operate prayer and the word both are important both are the you know two sides of a coin hallelujah praise the lord we can see some example for example i'll give you two three examples you know the man at the beautiful gate was raised without prayer but he it was acted by faith amen praise god then we see jesus raised the boy at 9 there also jesus did not pray just by faith he made him to you know rise up from the dead on the other hand we see this little girl tabitha peter raised her by prayer so what does it mean prayer and faith go hand in hand but you can do equally important wonders by the faith and by the prayer hallelujah dear friends let me close here if we want to operate in god kind of faith these are the few things i don't know there may be many other things in the scriptures but the spirit of the lord is urging us to look into these few things for today amen and build our most holy faith which is god kind of faith which is the faith of the son of god that has been deposited in us should be operated or we must use that faith and overcome the world overcome doubt overcome all kind of failures of this world we have to overcome the devil himself by the faith in the son of god hallelujah let us pray father in heaven we thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us holy lord as we have received 
and heard the word from your mouth. Father, help us, Lord, that we may allow only the God kind of faith to be built up and made strong and made dominate our entire being, our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions and our body, our decisions, our thoughts and our intentions so that Lord we will be able to overcome the world and your word says we overcome the world by faith. Yes my Lord, thank you for depositing a measure of faith in us which is the faith of the Son of God and help us to build that faith, increase that faith so that we will be a God cooperating with your Holy Spirit to fulfill all that you plan and purpose in our lives so that your promise and your will can be fulfilled in and through our lives Lord. Father I thank you and praise you for all my brothers and sisters. Lord let this word be communicated by your Holy Spirit to all your people who have listened to this Lord God and let there be transformation and the understanding of faith in our lives of Father God. We bless your name Lord. We give you glory. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, I believe the Lord has some very specific purpose through this message in our lives. And he wants to see the world overcoming faith should be raised in our lives. The standard of God kind of faith must increase. And I believe the Spirit of the Lord will help you. Thank you for listening to this. If you feel this message is required for someone whom you know and those who are in need, kindly forward to them the link of the Facebook or YouTube that they may also be blessed along with us. God bless you.